Like I am Bosky not. Bosky I am not. <laughs> I am not John Michelle. Yeah. I am Moda gives you hell. Time for another unhealthy dose of lucky time explosion. Wow, 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 wow. Welcome, welcome back. It is yeah. Monday. Garfield hates Mondays. He does. Do you like them? Um, are you Garfield? My my schedule is weird. My life is weird. I don't know. Sometimes other days are my Mondays. I That's don't true. Know. That's true. Your life is weird, which is why we have a show. To I think talk my about every it. day is a Monday. That's true. Welcome back to Lucky Time Explosion. <laughs> this is your source for art news, art chatter, and interviews with local artists. Today we have a very special guest. Moda in the house. Hello. Thank yes, you for joining Mr. us. Mr. Moda's here. What's going on, guys? What's Not going too on? Much. He is a local renaissance man. He does <laughs> a lot of everything. He's good at all of it. Yeah. He's busy, got a lot of things hands. shaking right now. For so sure. We're well, happy to have him on. We got a couple of pieces of art news to talk about. Uh, namely, Ron DeSantis pulling about $37 million Boo. out of the art budget in Florida. Jeez. Which is like of any place that needs it, <laughs> it's Florida, right? Yeah. They're becoming like an art center. They're becoming like this big hub, but everything's freaking tacky as hell coming out of there. Right, right, right. Those big Joker Amex cards, I love those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at right. the same you know, time, it's home to the yeah. yeah, it's it's home to one of the biggest you know art extravaganzas in the world. Art once a party. Year. Yeah, I, I don't know. Everyone says the Basel's like more of a party than a real art show. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah well, have you been? I've been going for the last like seven, eight years. Wow. Probably, probably like uh, maybe like almost ten now. Damn, goddamn. Yeah, a whole like, decade I'm, of it. Almost. What do you? Would you like it? What do you think? Well, about I it? actually love Art Basel for um, the openness. Like uh, pretty much anyone's a fucking artist, so I love that. Mm. Uh, you know, the guy who was just um, selling you bottle caps last week and trying to get a dollar from you can just pull up and <laughs> put them all together and make it make ten thousand dollars. <laughs> like you know, yeah, I mean, his so, bottle cap art. Yeah, it's just like fuck it. The the shit I was just stealing from the store. I'm like, oh, let me just put it all on this thing and sell it, and now it's now it's no one's problem. I'm I made a lot yeah, of money. It's a different world. It's, yeah, it's so it's like I like how open and free uh, Miami and the art community is out there. Like they're very welcoming. I actually was able to get a foothold in the art world by through it. yeah through by doing art basel um shout outs to patricia field and scooter laforge for taking notice to me when i was out there doing my art fashion pieces uh coming out there doing art on clothing yeah yeah you know, doing things like that to keep it um you know, I actually uh, dressed a woman for Revolt TV. Oh, yeah, I know um, Revolt. Yeah, and that was like the first thing I did nice. with Swiss Beats. I actually came there personally to hand deliver it. So she liked it on Instagram, was going crazy about it. And then I drove out there with my friends. Like, you know, I was already going out there, you know. From New York? Yeah, yeah, So man, you drove to down the, to Florida from yeah, New York? Yeah, man. To hand Stuff, deliver? Yeah, to hand wow. deliver. There you go. Because we was, See, that's, that's a hard working man right there. <laughs> yeah. He's like, shit, I'm going to drive it down. Yeah, fuck that. Why the that fuck is, yeah. that like, is she's kind of hot, so awesome. it's fucking worth it. So I'm just yeah, like, yeah, shit. Um, yeah. It's like you know, so uh, yeah, she brought me in, um, and with you know, we you know, we broke into other events, you know, and got. Oh to, yeah, yeah, of course, because like, <laughs> you gotta Miami. do it. Gotta do it. Couldn't just be in Miami and just hear like I Drake's artist was popping at the the uh, the Rizzle, uh, Rizzle. What's that song? Sweeter man. That you know, if you know, this we're gonna fucking put it, <laughs> dub it around. You know, that song right. was popping at the time, but um, we were there with his artist. Um, a group of friends and I, and we was just like, you know, fuck it, like, and DMX was coming in, so it was just like, yo, Rough Riders is here, like, nah, I'm not about Yeah, to everybody just sends on it, which yeah. just makes it even weirder that they're pulling out this budget for it. It's like, right, I'm wondering you know, what that's about, like, what is, uh, kind of triggered that? You know, it's, I think it's very on, on brand for Mr. DeSantis, Mr. Cowboy Boots. You know, <laughs> right. about his, you know about his <laughs> tiny boots. So he has, he's actually 4'6". He's tiny, and he's got, you know, little feet. So he buys these oversized cowboy boots and puts risers in them, and it looks weird as hell. <laughs> it's, you know, you th that's some avant-garde fashion. You'd think yeah, he'd be more into like the fashion and art, right? Yeah, he should have. Right. He should embrace his shortness, like Ross Perot. Yeah, exactly. Like I was, I kind of liked that little guy because you know, he wasn't a bullshitter. You know, he was a businessman. Oh yeah, I like, I like, like yeah. 
The, uh, that great sucking sound is Ron DeSantis taking his boots off. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old school reference for everyone who's over 30. He's got <laughs> sloppy. great sucking sound. DeSantis got sloppy ass toes. It is, yeah. But um, yeah, even sloppy. even some of the museums sloppy. in Florida are now like, uh, you know, we've never seen anything like this. This, whole, this museum was expecting like $570,000. And they're getting nothing now. Oh, uh, zero zip. And so pulling out the plug from arts funding is uh, it kind of sucks, but it's on brand for him, I guess. Uh, it is, that's a lot of money to pull from from artists it that is. really count on that stuff. And then again, it's it's kind of confusing. You would think, you know, the uh, state that hosts one of the most the biggest, biggest art, art shows in the world, right. art right. fairs. And he's just like, yeah, that's great. Thank you for Wonder doing that for us, but you're getting nothing for it. Yeah, he's like, like, what the fuck? I, not I, appropriate. Has, uh, no. The art has been saving, uh, I, I feel like, Miami and Florida for a while now. You know, it's been right. really bringing people together. I'm wondering what has influenced that in the last couple of years. I mean, a lot, hmm. I know a lot of New Yorkers are moving out there, so I know we can't. Probably not making it all better out there all yeah. the way, you know what I mean? But, well, I know a lot of people so. that are headed to fly. A lot of, yeah. recently, within the last few months, I've heard a lot of people that I know within my family or outside of it, uh, a lot of people are moving to Florida. Right. Yeah. Florida. It's, it's true. And, you know, it's one of the problems. If we don't support art enough here in New York, then uh, people will leave and, and people will take their uh, interest. Give elsewhere. us some of that money. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that money here. Exactly. We've give got it to a lot me. of it. We have a lot of funding here in New York for the arts, a lot of private organizations like the Andy Warhol Foundation and others who give out a lot of money uh, to artists in 5013Cs here in the city, which is great. Uh, we've always been really supportive of that kind of stuff, which is another reason why it's so expensive to live here. Oh, yeah. Right. You know? But we also spoke about, I, I'm going to say it wrong, Chaha Maha. Shashama. Shashama. Yeah, Shashama. They too. They, they, that's a beautiful organization. Yeah, they are great. They the take arts. a lot of, um, you know, and it's funny, my thoughts on Shashama changed a lot as I got older because when I first got to the city and I saw Shashama and I kind of, you know, sussed it out. I was like, what is this? And then I realized that they give a ton of money or not money, but they give a ton of free studio space, which is their whole model. They take abandoned or not used retail spaces and they turn them into art studios and give them away to artists. That's awesome. Uh, Shout out to you guys. Yeah. yeah. And originally I was like, oh, they only do like, because a lot of their artists are older, you know? Uh, and at first mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's just for like the retiree oh, sect. Yeah, and I, right. I'm it fucking, kills me too, I'm out on the street now. But you know, as I get older, I'm like, okay, okay I actually yeah, respect I it. Older. Older. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for existing. <laughs> one day, yeah, one right, day right. I'm going to need that shit. <laughs> and, and also that like, you know, artists, uh, I think older artists are a safer bet because they've been doing it for They're so long. They're really the ones committed, honestly. And let's see, you see, and, and and yo, shout outs to you for just admitting that because yeah. I guess like for me, a lot of my my um, early career, I just used to dread the the older crowd. You know, mm. I felt like um, they had everything. Right. And I just felt like, man, I'm out here and busting my ass. And then you realize, like, damn, I'm getting old, busting my ass. I'm like, I'm doing, <laughs> doing this shit for like a long time. Meet a motherfucker. He's like, yeah, I've been doing this 40 years. I'm yeah. like, God damn. I'm, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro, do something else, please. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? For your own health. Like, yeah, I'm exactly. Like, 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 why would you want to do this? But yeah, you know, huh. it just keeps pushing you down the road. And I'm just like you're saying, I'm thankful to even, you know, cha 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 ha ma. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's I like know. the Sorry. Chipotle. You remember those? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm Chipotle. Do you remember? <laughs> We're playing around with you. Yeah. Do you remember the uh, do you remember the Jack in the Box commercials when he couldn't pronounce Chipotle and his like mouth would get all tangled and he'd be like Chipotle, <laughs> Chipotle, 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 Chipotle. That's everybody with Shashama right now. Yo, uh, but that's yeah, that's it. They're, they're doing their thing. Um, and Ron Sanders is being a jerk in in Florida and taking away money from the artist uh, and saying it's not you know the state's responsibility to fund that. Which I guess is fine, but you're just going to end up with more uh, credit card joker art, you know, right? The more or the just <laughs> credit card fraud and just fucking plain old robbery. Yes, <laughs> and absolutely. And, and that right. brings me, and I and I, I know I have a bad vibe mm. on NFTs and stuff. But you re recently went to oh, one of the yeah, big NFT man. shows. Oh, the NFTs is and such what was a triggering name? word. It is yes. NFT. It is. How dare you say NFT to me this I early? Know. <laughs> know, I'm like uh, uh, crypto punks. So the crypto yeah. punks had a thing. Right. You know, they've been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm like this. There's certain people yeah. in the, the space that really hold it down and make it fun. Um, shout out to Crypto Punks in their Time to Be Happy event. They yeah. had uh, Benzino, Ron English, uh, Jake Freed, the alien girl. I really liked a few um, of some of them heard, some I, I was getting familiar with. Um, you know, again, just I just like to even throw speak on Ron English because oh um, yeah. Love his work, man. Me too. And to see him transition and always be in a different 
uh, you know, realm, and I didn't get to meet the guy, you know what I mean, that night. I really, you know, I'm a, I'm, you know, if you guys are watching this now, man, I'm not a social buddy fly, butterfly as it <laughs> appears to be. I'm very, like, closed, so, yo, I was by myself. I was, like, uh, tired, thinking about my event, trying to figure out how I can promote the damn thing, but, yeah, right. whatever. You know, I saw, um, you know, the guys coming together in that space yeah. and really from the digital work, seeing somebody like Ron English there, he had these yeah. sculptures within the um, the the painting and the encasement of these, um, what is it, these uh, old clocks or punch-in, these cool. time things where you would punch oh, in. Oh, the punch-in clocks. Yeah, the punch-in clocks. So they had those and they hollowed them out and made these TVs out of them. Oh, oh so, nice. You know, so a lot of them had that and it was really dope to see Ron English his piece was not of a TV. It was like right. in there, but it was just like this sculpture. And for me, that shows that there is a place for digital and physical art to exist in harmony. Like we're, yeah. you know, you know, I like, I'm, I know the AI craze is spoken oh, yeah. up a lot, you know, but I, I realistically don't believe that we'll be there for like, like we got like another hundred years before Skynet <laughs> actually comes down. Ooh, I personally ooh. think. I think we're really we're in the it's gonna be that long. Like bummer. Some, yeah, right, 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 <laughs> right. I, right. I said now. bummer. I kind of want to see it now, but then I'm like, I damn, don't I don't know. have my fucking chat made <laughs> set up. I don't even know how to use one. I don't know. The older I get, <laughs> like, you know, the more I feel like, um, you know, you see, uh, you the more you realize that, like, you know, these people that you look up to when you're younger, you know, when they're like forty and thirty seven, they're and they're running the world, and and you're like, oh, they must know what they're doing, right? And like, then you I get older, and you realize that they know what they're doing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and the older you get, you realize like nobody knows what they're doing, uh, and and it's scary. They just forgot. You it's just scary. get to an age where you just like forget. You'd be like, oh, what the fuck did I do all this? Yeah. for? they're crazy too, like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> they're like they're just like me. That's terrifying. I'm like right. I'm like yeah, and then you know that's really, really yeah. what I see. I'm like yeah, the fucking old person will see me coming from a mile away, and they'd be like, oh no, get get him away from me. <laughs> like, having Ron English there is pretty cool. I do think badass. he's like talk about something to help legitimize it. Uh, right, right, that'll do it. That's you know? a real like that's I mean, a real artist. You know, yeah. we, we can say here that right around the corner that we drop mail off every day. Oh, yeah. Someone behind the counter has one of those Ron English flowers where oh, the yeah. face, you know, it's being pulled off, and you see the skeleton. Yeah, I love and those. Uh, everywhere you go, you, you can see Ronnie, Ronnie you're English, making me man. want. I'm pushing to find my smiley face. So trust yeah. me, I, I got a few I've been playing around with. I'm just I'm pushing to find mine. He had this book, uh, and I read the forward to the book where he says, like, you know, after doing all these, he would take billboards and, like, redo them. So, like, the Trix Rabbit was, like, oh, yeah, had yeah, a yeah. skeleton or whatever. It makes some political message with it. Mm -hmm. And he never got arrested for graffiti until he was in the village, and he, like, slapped a sticker on his friend's door. And that's what did it. And they're like, Whoa. wow. And they came up behind him and they threw him in the tank. Bro, yo, that's and show. There's like a whole, there's a whole forward in his book about being uh, booked for the sticker slapping. A after that's, everything you've been After through. everything else yeah, he's You know done. what I mean? Like, bro, bro, bro. I had been around. That's how it goes. Yo, yo, man. I've almost been a menace to, well, technically, you know what I mean? That's the, that's the last thing I was going to go in for, man. A menace to society oh. for vandalism and all the, but it was so fun. How do you get menace to society? from vandalism Yo, it's repeated just a, and, a, a repeated yeah. and then just other shit bro like you know so all the things you're doing as like an artist yeah like uh maybe you're on trespassing you know you get right. that and then you get the vandalism that's charge, what makes it right? fun though right yeah right and no <laughs> because so literally i had a moment with the fucking police where it was like yo bro mm -hmm. what you're doing so much great things i'm hearing your name around the neighborhood and they're like um you know why are you doing this i'm like bro you do your job I do my ah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're in harmony. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else would you do if I didn't go around and tag this shit up? And lo and behold, the next day the shit was still up, you know? So, you know, this is Shy, yeah, shout out to Shy Fan and, and my man CJ. Pavement 84 p.m. VT. You know, we were out there together doing that shit, man. And um, were you like, like writing or doing murals? So I was literally, we were writing this fake <clears throat> mural. It was like very, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Um, like street art, yeah, street art deconstructed. It's kind of like the first, um, my first hand at developing the anatomy series that I do now. Oh, so it's right, kind of right, interesting right. if we, if I can go pull it up, I'll try and send that, find that photo for you yeah. guys. But um, yeah, it was just writing, just bullshit. You would kind of think it like toy, but not really. You know, we really put our heart and soul into this art that we were doing secretly. You know, we at first the, it was at a party, so we go out there. I sneak out one person. You know, I'm I'm tagging, and me and Shy is there, and then CJ comes out, and then like you know half the party starts coming out. We're like, yo yo yo, don't you know? But we were like, fuck it, give him a little show. So we're tagging, and we're on top of shit, and I'm like, we'll never do this, and we're getting like, oh. 
the police are coming. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's get <laughs> out of here. I got like $80 worth of new spray paint, right? Oh, no. So oh, yeah. I'll never forget this shit, bro. Like, I have done so much little dumb shit and gotten away with it. But this day, it was like, let me just give people a little bit more. I stayed a little longer. And then I saw my bag. And I'll never forget taking this one step. Like, everyone's in the party. We're, we've gotten away. And my one foot is in the party. Yeah. And I said, fuck, $80 worth of spray paint. Like, I'm not even anywhere near this. I turned around. Grab the bag, did that, and yeah. some hands is like, hey! Oh. I'm like, ah! Oh. Oh, I'm like, that shit was so Son whack, bro. Of a bitch. bitch. And I was Gotta just like, yo, oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there was like free motor. You know, free, <laughs> that shit was too funny, man. Oh, man. Fucking, How long did you have to get like. It was the fucking night. It was the fucking an overnight. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, overnight yeah. bullshit, but they was giving me the fucking talk. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's like, but I think that was like one of the last times like, I tagged. You know, it just it just seemed like every time I would finally get a flow to do something, it would just be like, all right, getting booked, I'm getting booked. I don't know how it mm. was for you guys back back in the day, but I can barely get a sentence off. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, my yeah. timing was just off. But I'm like, yo, I'm out all night. I go different places, but you know, I, I I'm gonna try. You know, a few few different things. I'm I got a suggestion. You got to do a little social engineering. Just get like a little like one of those high vis vests and a hard hat. I literally started that? doing you that. Started yeah, doing I started that. doing yeah, yeah. that. I, it actually worked. Yo, it works, I was, right? It worked, bro. People are like, you're supposed no, to be there. Yo, here's another one. Here's one I like to do. This one, like you know, just just in, just no matter what, the guy stops you. Just be like, oh, I'll call him right now. Call your fucking friend. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And call him and just have the the most confidence and have your, your the guy who's on the other end and be like, yo, what are you? calling me for like yeah yeah, yeah. No, i hired like this a, guy to do this mural yeah right like right and, and <laughs> that's the guy, my property yeah right like of course he's supposed to be there you yeah. like yeah, i don't i don't fucking make enough for this shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give me a bunch of, all of that and the cop will be like oh well shit they, they left me the fuck alone one time i'm like all right yeah we're up so much i'm like yeah keep that one low <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> funny me. man but yeah, like uh, yeah, being an artist um, has its ups and downs. So I'm I'm like listening and looking at the other artists that I've come across, and I'm wondering how they got okay. Like Albert Diaz. Oh man, well he's been doing it forever. He's, like, he's a guy. Like oh, I, I, you yeah. know, these are people I aspire to. So when I, you know, you finally get out there, it's like, damn, bro, this art shit is dangerous, bro. Like, let alone the fucking shit that I'm doing already. Like, yeah. before getting into art, you know, trying to find, you know, some type of. I think it's all about just like pushing yourself to try new stuff, to keep it, to keep moving it. Try I've been to stay thinking, free. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about like my, uh, I've been thinking a lot about my past in New York and in the artwork and, and totally. how, you know, I'm really well known for doing the, for running con artists for so long and everything keeps coming back to con artists. Mm. But I don't want to be one of those old heads running around the village like, I used to be something I back in the day. Right. I did this. I want to be, I want to get over it. I want to go past that. I want to make something right. new. So, right. you know, soon I'll be the lucky time explosion guy. Yeah, right. He's like, here's that guy. He used to talk that. shit on the radio back <laughs> in my day. I fucking yeah. love that guy. No, exactly. You know, it's yeah. like, you don't get, so you got to, you always got to keep moving and yeah. trying something new. Yeah. And then, you know, you'll get known for for one of those. I'm sure like Al is really sick of like, you know, being in Basquiat's shadow. Oh man. You know? like, like you know, I would be too. You know, uh, the funny thing about that too, man, because coming up, I got a lot of um, uh, the, the comparisons, and um, mm. you know that's you know just even right now, like I am Bosky not. I am not. I am not John Michelle. Yeah. I am. Moda gives you hell. You know what I mean? I'm a whole nother fucking entity. Do you think you're like the comparisons are warranted because well, of your the, style? Yeah, the, yeah, or yeah or right, right. It, and, and and it is. Like I, sometimes I feel like, am I a fucking reincarnation of this guy? Yo, <laughs> believe it or not, I had no idea who this man was. I did not know who he was. Well, um, it was honestly, like, me neither. I got this tattoo on my hand because um, I like drew that crown all over my sketchbooks. I totally did get it from Basquiat. But, but yeah, right, I didn't but know no, because no. it was my parents' coffee table book. Right. And I looked through it when I was like five you know and then, <laughs> there you go and then it just kind of sunk in there and that that icon continued to like resonate That's with me and i used hard, it now you're making me want to get it, I fucking did it all over the crown sketchbook. tattoo man. everybody yeah. i met has is really nice with it you know who no, has one? everyone was really cool i like them no, so man. i said i'll join the club no right no really really and that's good and good on you for doing that man because when i finally did learn about yeah. him he was like an, a, a testament to not just like the 90s like 80s just about raw new york talent man just yeah, raw, raw new york york definitely raw energy 
um, didn't matter, like that Soho night, village night, yeah. just all of us coming together and just kicking it and then creating something from that. Yeah. You know that first time you hang out with your friend, you're like, oh, I got an idea. And yeah. then you fucking start doing shit and yeah. banging on shit. And it's like, oh, this this is this isn't bad. You know what I mean? And then oh, totally. fuck it. You got a band now or you got a, a group now. You got, you got a, a click. podcast. You got That's a podcast. Right. A yeah. video oh, podcast where you talk about our fucking arm. dope. Yeah. You yeah. get to do that. It is, it is fun. It man. starts off with those, you know, simple ass, you know, times getting yeah. away from things. So, yeah. And like uh, Barbara Gladstone, who everyone's oh, been talking about right now. Yeah. You know, she started off just um, just collecting prints because she couldn't afford bigger work. She couldn't wow. afford original work. So she was starting to collect prints because they were affordable. She really resold a few minutes, rolled that back into the business. And, you know, now everyone's celebrating her death. Uh, well, like not celebrating right, but, it, but yeah, her, mourning her, her yeah. passing because she was such an important part Very important. of the art scene. Yes. And I had a funny moment yesterday where I realized that I had said this on the last podcast and I've been talking about Barbara. Just saying that everybody was really respectfully mourning for her. And I thought, you know, before I go sing your, because I do appreciate and like a lot of the stuff she's done. I was like, well, before I go sing your praises, let me look up any controversy she had <laughs> to get ahead of that. Because, yeah, you know, these yeah, art world yeah, people sometimes pulling some, some real shit. shit. And I didn't want people like piling so, in our comments being like, hey, you're supporting this horrible sure. person. She, she, and I looked it up and <laughs> I actually made me like her more. Because the controversy I found was um, one of her old staff was suing her. Um, for uh, like assault because at 82 years old during some meetings she like hooked a book at like one of her manager's heads <laughs> and uh, like that's okay some... you shouldn't throw stuff at people but that's fucking funny that's hilarious man. I think that's funny it's fucked up bro because yeah. I used to work at uh, Condé Nast man and <laughs> mm -hmm. I just finished uh, re-watching uh, The Devil Wears Prada Yo, oh yeah I fucking love Anna Wintour bro oh yeah like, I love her I love it, that lady both man. of those things are kind of both of those stories and that and that vibe are like kind of about the New York attitude that is like where no it comes bullshit. from it's no bullshit and i i don't have time I'm for fucking your pissed shit. someone made her have to pick that heavy ass book up and throw it <laughs> yeah i heard it, it was i heard it was worn <laughs> what did she do so that, <laughs> that must have weighed like four pounds oh yeah man it's not like, good what the fuck you Tolstoy. got this old lady picking up this book right just to get a fucking point across to you yeah it's fucking despicable man <laughs> you know what i mean like what fucking i just the door thought that was ass. funny i thought it was a visual thing because you know i've been there too i've been frustrated with people i've i've learned to temper myself a bit more right. but i have a bit of it and i'm proud of you brandon for Thank doing you. that because Thank that's you. the that's the kind of environment we need to be kind of creating for the new comers and getting here yeah it'll be a few more weeks or years before you throw the buck at them, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah you, yeah or you have to earn that book i may throwing. have already smacked somebody with a rolled up newspaper once <laughs> okay, okay. that's right that's right and i'm probably <laughs> Actually, next in line <laughs> yeah he likes that shit hey you no know, uh, like, one time i had to uh, i was working at a movie theater once <laughs> and this kid had to this kid came by the movie theater and, and dropped off uh, his friend and like we were ta talking for a bit he leaves and then his friend doesn't leave and is like hanging out and i and the kid was nice enough but i was like eventually i was like hey i have to go back to work like yeah you, bro. you gotta go get the fuck and out he was here. like not going and he'd be like yeah 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 but but and then he kept talking and i was like I, I come on you really have to leave and i couldn't get him to leave and it was the first and only time in my life that i was like i'm gonna hit you with a broom <laughs> If you don't leave, and he's like, "Ha, that's so funny, dude." And then I was like, "I'm serious." And I go to the closet and I get the broom. And I'm like, "I'm holding it." I'm holding and it. And he goes, "Oh, yeah. you're so funny." I'm like, "I don't want to do this. I don't want <laughs> <laughs> get out of here." <laughs> I had to drive I him off with the broom. What you made. <laughs> I hope us. he learned from that. I, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. I hope Probably you both learn. Sometimes you not. might have to get the broom first. I learned like, sometimes you have fucking, to get the broom. Yeah, just get the broom. <laughs> it's just the fucking, you know, that, and it's it's crazy, man, because, um, yeah, like, I got, like, shit surrounding me, man, like, you know, but that's the whole thing, like, uh, I guess where I come from, it's a fucking tough animal, you know what I mean? And the thing is, you can only ask and show, but so much. You know what I mean? It becomes a performance after a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, after a while, you got to, like, all right, let me get on stage. Like, they, that story, man, you had of that guy who was on stage uh, who had put that guy in the chokehold. Oh, yeah, the, I was, was showing oh, him. So there, there's a, a tool Yeah, was tool, playing, like, tool, years ago. Tool. You know, Maynard yeah. dresses up sometimes. He covers himself in paint. Some guy tried to, like, you know, fuck with him on stage. Mm. This is a, a, a while ago. And uh, I think Maynard went to West Point. I think he oh, knows really? like self defense. He was a marine. No, I think he was a marine for a little bit. Oh wow! And this guy like got too close, <laughs> and he fucking took him down and put him <laughs> in a chokehold and continued the song while he was like choking <laughs> the guy out. And the That's security guard, right there. The security That's guard comes and he like waves the security guard off. He's like, no, 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 I got this. He's like, this is fun. <laughs> and he's, he's like, like yeah, you know what? 
<laughs> and the guy you sing the to, chorus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah he like, choked him out, and the guy was like me. trying to be cool and like raise his arm until you could see that he was finally like losing and tapping like, out. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> but he held him there for like a good two minutes. Out. Jesus, yeah, like, which yeah, is a long yeah, time yeah, if yeah. you ever watch UFC. Right. Well, Jiu Jitsu and it's on the, yeah. in the yeah, yeah. Jiu Jitsu yeah. martial arts are an art form. But tell us more about your artwork and oh, what man. you do. Yeah, man. Oh well, so me, yeah, about my art form. Oh, well, I'd first like to say that um, I have a list of people that I don't like. No, uh -oh. I mean, that is the that is my art form. That's your art really, form. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm joking. Uh, no, but, <laughs> no, it's really like keeping it real, man. Yeah. Like, um, dude. My art form comes from my experiences, right? And um, I, I like, um, there's people I aspire to in a sense, right? Like, you know, not really, you know, I'm looking to always do my own thing, but I'm greatly and heavily influenced by and one particular persons or we could say people, uh, Picasso, right? Like he's mm. somebody who interests me in a way because of how wide of a variety of work mm. he has, such a mm. wide body of work. And I like to think of myself like that. You know what I mean? There, I like to, when I've gotten into this, there wasn't any one particular style of work that I wanted to complete as yeah. much as I wanted to tell a story. You get it? I just wanted to, I and I still do, and want to tell these stories in um, many ways, right? And my first way of doing that was actually more of a digital way, fashion. Um, mm. You know, that's the world I was coming from in Conde, but um, Conde Nast Publications, but at the time, you know, as an intern, uh, Fader Magazine, just doing that, you know, coming from music and hip hop a lot, right? Right. Um, you know, at first, you know, I've got with uh, my, my, my friend, my best friend, and uh, his brother, Jungle God. Um, with RSMY music is like 16 and then working around that. But um, I later on developed my own style, which um, you can say is like mixed media, contem modern contemporary. It's very, um, uh, it, it, very vast, I would like to say. Like I use so many, I'm big on texture, you know, um, and one particular series that I've been able to develop was a series about how to be an artist because mm. that, you know, I'm all self-taught. I'm a naive artist. I've been um, learning these things as I've gone for the last 12 years now, you know. I think it's such a weird thing when I hear people say how to be an artist. Right. It's like, you know, isn't the thing about art that we appreciate, like how different it is and how right. personal how it is? Like right. how is there, there's not a one size fits right. all solution right. for it. Right. And um, I hope to actually write a book about this and um, I actually am working on this book um, how to be an artist because for me I I have just chosen a, the artist that I would like to show you how to be right and right. I feel like any version of this anything less or even more will give you the very thing have you have for. you read Jerry Saltz book how to be an artist you know it's funny Jerry Saltz is like one of the main freaking guys I don't know what happened where <laughs> where is this guy man because he's Jer around we'll I, have I'm, him trying to, I'm trying I'm we'll trying to fucking get him in here Jerry eventually. Saltz like you're the guy that needs to, to be around my shit we used to <laughs> fucking laugh in, in the comment sections with each other like all the time man just oh, yeah poking. he's very active on yeah, Instagram man, and I was in Miami at the time man I couldn't get I, I really wanted to get him in front he came to our Basel but he didn't come to my show man i fucking well you know what he says hate about, you for that you know what he nah, says about that he goes uh, about being an artist he goes uh how to he goes how to be an artist uh it, it, only be an artist if you really have to be basically right. his, advi his advice is don't <laughs> it, don't right <laughs> don't do it don't do it man. but he's a you know he's an artist himself and a former truck driver who you know wow ended look up at becoming, that man. Uh, the head critic in new york uh, what was magazine. he what, what did he deliver as a truck driver? i don't know that's a good question <laughs> Flick, Jer art? Jerry's art Rama supplies, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Most likely. Fucking, anyway. He worked for, uh, yeah, no, no, definitely. No, that's man. actually crazy, man. I didn't, yeah, he's, I didn't know. he's funny. He, that's crazy why he liked, Eddie's, I heard, maybe. Crazy maybe. Eddie's? He liked my comment about um, about the uh, Stanley Cup. He had a Stanley Cup, and I said it's a true wow. American story. You know, right. It's a working class hero's <laughs> tool turned into uh, an icon of luxury. Right. I said, if, in, if the Stanley Cup can make it, so can we, guys. But wait right. a minute. Right. Before, this, we're, we're getting close to the end, we but are. Moda has to talk about yeah, his upcoming show. Stuff. Tell us oh, what's yeah, that. Man. Big, yeah, man. Big, big, big show, show coming, coming up. up. man. Yeah, definitely with uh, myself and Say Adams and mm. Cam, Craig Anthony Matt, uh, Miller, um, who is a very well-known artist in Brooklyn. Um, Where's it going to be and when? It's going to be June 28th Ooh. through August 14th. 
I nice. believe, August 14th or 15th. We'll put that up. Uh, the June 28th is the opening exhibition. Um, this is the most, the single important event in my life, man. All right. Um, I'm actually doing the show with another, the artist Say Adams, right? A group show. Right Say on. Adams is um, the creative director or was the founding creative director for Def Jam. And I've oh, learned that cool. he's come from my same neighborhood. He's from hey. Jamaica, Queens. Look at that, man. In the yeah. 12 years I've been doing this, I haven't met people from my neighborhood like that. Well, that's awesome. I, I've, I've, I've told my mom's from Jamaica, Queens. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Your mom and your mom's <laughs> freaking... I don't know if they know, like, she's like hippie genius connoisseur. She done got Jesse yeah. here. You know what I mean? Like, woman. Well, Funny we're going to have more Jim info. Stoner, stoner. We'll have more info for Motor Show down below. This is going to be the end of the uh, video on YouTube, but check out our Patreon if you'd oh, like to hear man. the extended audio version. Yeah. Right, right, and right. so, yeah, thanks for joining us yeah. and check out our Patreon for the rest hold of this on, interview. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not done yet. We're yeah, yeah, right. I didn't even know. I'm like, yeah, she's like, yeah, shout well, out to our sponsors.